Hi, I'm Phil at the Soundproofing Store, and today we're going to talk through the Soundproofing Store's top three soundproofing solutions for solid walls. It's always important to explain that soundproofing is not a one-size-fits-all solution. Everyone's situation is different. Every property is different. Every noise problem is different. So to get the best noise reduction, you need a system that is suitable for your problem. Choosing a solution based purely on the thickness or what it looks like or how easy it is to install will often lead to disappointing results. So the purpose of this video is to talk you through our three most popular solutions and explain the differences and help narrow down which system is best for different situations. Now, before we talk through the solutions, we first need at least a basic understanding of the science behind soundproofing so that we can understand why and how the solutions work. To get the best results when soundproofing a wall, we need to achieve two main objectives. The first is to increase the mass of the wall. Now, mass is basically weight and density. So airborne sound is blocked by mass. For example, a 300 millimeter concrete wall is going to naturally block a lot more sound than a 10 millimeter timber wall because it has many times more mass. Now, secondly, we need to improve the wall's ability to absorb and dampen sound energy. Now, sound is basically a vibration. A vibration travels through solid materials and can transfer through the contact of solid materials. So when you create a sound on one side of the wall, the vibration energy of the sound travels straight through the wall to the other side. Now, there are two ways to reduce this vibration. The best way is through decoupling. In other words, building another wall in front of the existing wall with a gap in between. And this makes it much more difficult for the vibration to travel through as it has to jump across a physical gap. The second is to add resilience to the wall, allowing the wall to flex and dampen the vibration. Now, before I start talking through our solutions, the first thing I'm gonna do is just move our homemade brick wall into position. So bearing these principles in mind, our highest performing solution is our Reducto Clip independent wall solution. And this ticks all the boxes. We start by building a new stud wall at least 10 millimeters away from the existing wall. Ideally even further if space allows. And this gives us our decoupling as we're not touching the offending wall. We fill the stud frame with acoustic mineral wool so that we're not creating a hollow cavity. This is because if you don't insulate the cavity, sound will resonate and amplify in there like a drum. We then have our Reducto clip system installed onto the front of the frame, and this acts like a shock absorbing suspension system that dampens and absorbs that sound energy in the same kind of way that your car's suspension absorbs the impact of potholes in the road. We then add our mass onto the Reducto clip system. And this is made up of two layers of 15 millimeter acoustic grade plasterboard, sandwiching a layer of TechSound SY100. We've got more videos going into more detail about these, which we'll link in the video description. But these layers are adding over 35 kilograms of extra mass per meter square to create that barrier of mass to reduce the airborne sound. Now this system is incredibly high performing and is used in situations from domestic properties, reducing noise from neighbors, all the way up to recording studios and home cinemas. It reduces high levels of sound across the spectrum of frequencies from low bass up to high treble. It reduces impact noises, such as banging doors and cupboards, as well as airborne noise and will massively upgrade any wall type, including brick walls, block walls, and even stud walls. In an ideal world, I would recommend this system for almost every situation. 
The only reason why it won't suit some people is because of the space that it takes up. Now, this is the slimmest isolation clip system on the market, but with a 10 millimeter gap and a 50 mil frame, this system in total is 120 millimeters of space loss. And that's roughly the same thickness as the height of a can of soft drink. Now, if you do have the space, it is absolutely worth it to really give you the highest chance of really solving your noise problem and giving you that peace and quiet that you're hoping for. But if 120 millimeters is just too much to lose in your situation, or you have doorways or windows close to your wall, then our second option is our Reducto Clip direct to wall system. This is the same system as the independent system that we've just talked about. The only difference is, instead of building a stud frame, you install the reducto clips directly onto the offending wall. Now this is going to save space, as you're now only losing 60 millimeters instead of 120 millimeters. But you've compromised by losing the decoupling. The reducto clip system is still going to do a good job at reducing the sound energy because of the resilience of the clips but it's not going to perform as highly as the independent system. Again, this can be installed on brick, block, or stud walls, and will give a good reduction in all noise types, from low pitch to high pitch, and both impact and airborne. But it just won't give you as high a reduction. So this makes it the perfect compromise between performance and space loss. The third and final solution we're going to talk about today is our Soundboard 4. This is our slimmest option at just 30 millimeters thick and is specifically designed to offer a solution for people who are really limited to space. It's installed as one single easy to install panel and is made up of four layers consisting of a three millimeter mass loaded vinyl a nine millimeter closed cell acoustic foam, another three millimeter mass loaded vinyl, and finally a 15 mil acoustic grade plasterboard. The sandboard four is fixed directly against the offending wall, so there's no decoupling, but we do have this foam layer, which gives us some level of resilience to dampen some of the sound energy. The board adds around 29 kilograms per meter square of extra mass and has different types of mass to respond to different frequencies. The soundboard 4 can be used on solid walls, but does have some limitations. Any solution of this type, which has no decoupling and limited resilience, is going to be quite effective for mid to high frequencies, so things like high pitch voices, for example, but it's not going to be very effective for stronger vibration, such as low pitch sounds bass from music, snoring, and impact noises. So if you have a thick, solid wall that's already doing a good job at blocking the higher pitch sounds, and you just have the lower, muffled sounds coming through, Soundboard 4 isn't going to give much improvement. However, if you have a very thin, very old wall, and have clear, high pitch sounds coming through, then Soundboard 4 should give you a pretty good improvement. The soundboard 4 really comes into its own when used on a stud wall, as they have such a low mass starting point. The addition of the 29 extra kilograms of mass per meter square will make a huge difference. So if you're looking to soundproof an internal stud wall, or even a dormer style timber external wall, soundboard 4 is a great option. So to conclude, these are three options to cover different budgets, space limitations, and noise types. It's important to use a system that will be suitable for your specific noise problem to really have the greatest chance of solving that problem. But if you're unsure of what solution is best for your specific situation, the best thing to do is speak to an expert. So please give us a call and speak to one of our trained technical advisors. You can also find more info on our website, a soundproofingstore.co.uk. And if you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more of our soundproofing content, 
then give this video a like and subscribe to the Soundproofing Store channel.